So for um, number 31, we want to see if AN here, if it converges. And now um, AN converges if uh, the value of n a n tends to a specific limit as n approaches infinity. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared over square root of um, n cubed plus 4n. And so um, if we evaluate this right now, we're just going to get uh, infinity over uh, infinity, and so that isn't very useful for us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, divide everything by 1 over n squared. And so that's going to be um, 1 over n squared on the top and on the bottom. And we're going to do this so that we can at least get a number on top, right? That's going to be 1 over something. Um, and so that's going to make it a little bit easier for us to evaluate. So um, when we do this, we're going to get that on the top that is going to be equal to just 1, right? Um, going to be equal to, let me scroll here, the limit, the limit as n approaches infinity, uh, n squared divided by 1 squared is just 1 over square root of n cubed uh, plus 4n, and all of this over n squared. Uh, and now I want to be able to put this n squared inside the square root so that I can um, divide things out. And remember that n squared is just the square root of n to the power of 4, right? Uh, because square root, uh, this is equal to n to the power of 4 to the 1 half, and they cancel out n to the power of 2. So we're going to turn this into the square root of n to the power of 4. So um, then we're going to say, okay, uh, okay, this is, this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over uh, square root of n cubed plus 4n over uh, n to the power of 4. So I put everything inside the square root. And actually, maybe I should make this bigger to really show that it is inside. And so if we simplify it, this is equal to... 1 over, um, so n cubed divided by n4, this is just 1 over n, plus um, 4 over n cubed, right? And so let's see what happens when we take this limit. Well, um, the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n, it's like 1 divided by a very large number, this is going to tend to 0. Um, similarly, the limit as n approaches infinity of 4 over n cubed, well, that 4 is going to be divided by a very, very large number. This is also going to go to 0. So given that both these limits on the bottom, they're going to go to 0. Um, so this is equal to um, 1 over square root of 0 plus 0. And so when we're dividing by 0, it's like uh, when we're taking the limit of a division by 0, right? Um, this is going to be actually infinity, because whenever you divide by a very small, small large number, you get something that is very, very, uh, very large. And so we can see here that this goes to infinity, right? Um, and so we say that a n um, does not have a limit because it doesn't approach a specific value, right? It just goes to infinity um, as n tends to infinity, so it uh, it diverges. Yeah, and so just to kind of scroll back so you guys can see, all we did was algebraically uh, manipulate it until we get to uh, 1 over n plus 4 over n cubed on the bottom. Um, we divide it by, and then we apply the limit, that's just going to be 1 over 0, and so that tends to infinity.